okay, I, I gotta, listen, I gotta ask you, what was your first concert that you ever went to? Like, who was the first artist you ever saw? It seen? was uh, Boy George and Culture Club. <laughs> it, in, uh, in Melbourne, yeah. Australia, and I <laughs> sadly don't have a photo of it. Maybe, maybe, thankfully, I don't have a photo of it. I went like Boy George. I had all the, the braids did. in my hair and the ribbons and, yeah. I was probably 15, 16. I was gonna ask how old yeah. you were then. I was like, it was Baby Kylie. Wow. Yeah. What was Baby Kylie like? Oh, she's even tinier than me now. Tinier than you are now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I think that in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, Baby Kylie, she was so shy. And then you see a bit of like old family footage mm -hmm. that... You wasn't yeah, so shy? I, I wasn't so shy. There had to be something, there has to be something. Oh, how cute is oh, this? <laughs> there she is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, she was posing already. Didn't even know. What were some of your favorite artists? Coming up. Oh, well, early days, like late 70s, Donna Summer. Oh. And it's, it's interesting to think of a little bit older than that baby Kylie, but around eight, nine, like playing bad girls on repeat. Oh. I mean, so that was a big influence. ABBA, Grease. Then we go to like early 80s, um, Culture Club, Duran Duran, Adam and the Ants, blah, 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 all of those. But primarily Prince. I was. See, I'm a prince uh, here too. Addict. Oh my goodness. Like I drive my, my poor dad. I was like, play this in the car. And you know, some of his songs were not appropriate. Inappropriate. For a teenager. But yes, as a teenager, <laughs> I was like, oh, come on, dad, play them. Um, but I got to meet him one time. Wow. I heard you got to write a song for him. Well, I, I saw his show in London uh -huh. in the early 90s and went backstage and was able to meet him. How, Jennifer, how did the words come out of my mouth? I don't know what I said, I but it's like, I'm working on an album and would you, I, could you, I don't even know what I said. Something tumbled out and um, he took a shine to me and invited me to, you know, go, not in that way in any way, to go see him and to, to go to Minneapolis and everything. But in London, I went to visit him in his hotel room, which has got studio everywhere. Yes. You'd be in heaven. Oh my goodness. And then he's like, oh, here's the keyboards, and it would hit different keys, and it would be print samples, like, ow, ow. And you're like, oh. <laughs> So he had his own sound. Yeah. Uh huh. And he said, So have you got your lyrics? So I sent him some lyrics, and I don't know if it was the next day or whenever. It, couldn't have, it must have been fast, as we know he was really fast. But a car arrives at my apartment. The driver of the car delivers a cassette, which Prince is singing. He's written a song and done a demo of a song with my lyrics. That's the great part of the story. The other oh. part is, I don't know where the cassette is. You don't have it? It'll be somewhere. It'll be somewhere in a, you know, you know somewhere. That would be such an amazing But maybe the estate has it. But that was, I mean, you know, 14-year-old me was just going, how am I going to meet Prince? And my life has taken on all these crazy twists and turns and you I did, did it. it if you like this video smash that like button and subscribe to the jennifer hudson show youtube channel check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area and don't forget to sign up for the newsletter